now. Is that you, darling? I didn't expect you. How would you? You got the wrong hat. Oh, no. Oh. You got the wrong oh. idea. Who are you? What do you want? Food? Money? Leave me alone. A little luck. Oh. 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 Why, you? Fight me, will you? A real shit at it. <laughs> you drop that gun, lady. I told you not to throw your rubbish down there a dozen times already. From the day that you arrived here, this whole place became a rubbish dump. A rubbish dump, you said, huh? Yeah. We should clean it up then, Paco. <laughs> <laughs> you buzzard, you. You think that's funny, huh? Well, I don't. <laughs>
Welcome to La Puerta, stranger. Tuckered out, huh? Yeah. You had an earthquake? Or a tornado? What happened here? Bandits, you see. Ain't an honest man left in town. Except for me, of course. Mexicans, huh? Oh, Americans. Oh, yeah, Mexicans, too. Here we are, right on the border, stranger. One band leaves, another arrives to take its place. But like I said, there ain't an honest man left except in me. And oh, yeah, a preacher puts up at uh, my saloon. Hey, amigo. Yeah, you in the black hat. What do you want here in La Puerta, mister? Who's your noisy friend, Paco? He ought to mind his own business. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, He's Uncle Run, friend, run! Hey, ain't that some? A trick like that's worth a fistful of dollars in my book. My heart good to see the likes of you in this town. Well, now I'll steal a hair off the dog that did him. Here, take a look at this. Yes, sir. You ever seen that, man? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Well, you know where I can find him? He's hanging around somewhere. Hey, where's the saloon? I'm thirsty as hell. We're stoned the crows. You just get the stranger's saddle and follow us. Hmm. Well, you're thirsty, huh? Well, if you do as you're told, just maybe the stranger buy a drink. Come on, move, you big ox. <laughs> oh, hey, stranger, we better hurry if you want to find the man you're looking for. Oh. <laughs> Don't look like our friend's gonna get far with that Love saddle. Weather. Oh. Hey. Well, if you want that drink, you better get off your rump and show us what you made of, Sonny. <laughs> Yeah. As I was saying earlier, stranger, bandits from both sides of the border come here. Well, what where does it like a hideout for them? And it's their town, not that everybody's left, uh, except my wife and I and the bar girl, and they're as honest as I am. Well, them farmers eat my food and drink my whiskey, and they never pay for it. And what can I do? Just one man against so many. <laughs> There he is, stranger, the one you're looking for. Uh, I'm afraid you're too late. And I thought we'd make it. The proceedings only started 10 minutes ago. Proceedings? Yeah, proceedings. That's what that prairie dog Jeff calls that legal hogwash, stranger. <laughs> Five in the last week, well, they're not men at all. They're some kind of animal thrown up by the devil. Come on, let's go to my saloon. Drinks are on me. Come on, stranger. Hey, I got some whiskey put hairs on your chest. Come on, stranger. Let's get that drink. Where are you going, Lola? That's my business. I'll kill you both one of these days, you and Jeff. to your room and stay there. Well, go on. There you are, partner. Here's my new right. Mr. 
I said, here's mud in your eye for Pete's sake. Uh, the way you're waving that wanted post around, I'd say you was a bounty hunter. What if I was? Well, kind of a pity you didn't catch up with that fellow outside first, because if you want my opinion, stringing a poor devil up ain't a Christian way to kill him. A rope or a bullet, what's the difference? You're dead. Oh, no, you're wrong. Uh, no, there is a difference. Uh, well, the engines say that when a man dies, his soul escapes through his mouth. But when he's a... Uh, it can't get loose. Don't worry about it. The mouth's blocked. It can always get out somewhere else. Well, I don't want to be around when it does. <laughs> hey, Fryer. Get out here and say a few words at the hanging. Move it! Well, don't do it, Father. Hey, if you send that guy to heaven, then I ain't got no wish to go there myself. I ain't no sinner. I got a right to. The Lord said heaven is not only for the good, but also for the sinful. Just a minute, Father. What is it, my son? Well, I don't know much about the Bible, I will admit. But I do know this. That isn't the only thing our Lord said. Yeah. The way of the Lord is strange indeed. Yeah. Just a minute. Let's do it right and legal. And we'll do it with God's representative. Take this, my son. Light a candle for the condemned man's soul. I knew you'd appreciate a religious touch to the proceedings. Go to hell. That's where you're going, Carranza. Don't forget to light it. Courage, my son. Repent, and your sin shall uh, be... Quit your moaning. There's the man you're supposed to help. Move it now. Come on. <laughs> Hank, come here. In the name of the Father and of the Son. Do not waste your time, Father. Have courage, my son, and confess your sins. Mm. That would take a month, and we have no more than a few minutes. Our friends are becoming very impatient to start. But this way, your soul is not ready for its journey. You must have faith, my son, or you will not enter paradise. Mm. There's no help for me now. Unless you happen to have a gun with you, Padre. I'm worried, Jeff. I want to talk to you. Tell the friar to get a move on. Yeah, this has been dragged out long enough. I goes with the very dangerous looking that man. That ain't a thing to get worried about, Lola. Last couple of months, a lot of dangerous men have come riding into La Puerta. And I got scared because I thought maybe he'd hired... Someone to kill us, is that what you mean? It's possible, I guess. We got a visitor. It's your darling husband. Go on, move it. Get away from here. Let us pray, my son, that God will save you. You think he will come personally and give me a gun? Not personally, no. But he has many representatives here on Earth. You must have faith. Sure, Padre. I do have faith. I hear a hissing sound. What is it? What? Like bacon and eggs frying, huh? You've got funny hearing, Blake. It sounds to me like a damned angry rattler. Maybe I do, but that ain't a rattler. That's bacon cooking. You fellas are all wrong. That's a dynamite fuse, I'd say. Yeah. For once, I think he's right. It's a fuse burning. I agree. It's a fuse burning, yes. Fuse burning. A fuse burning? A fuse burning? Fuse burning. Fuse burning. Fuse burning. <laughs>
search every inch of the town. What are you holding the meat for? Keep searching. I'll go this way, you try over there. Hey, Bart, come down here. something to think about. If you can't find him, you blockheads! I want that bastard of a friar dead or alive. Dead or alive. You heard him. Come on. children. While you're missing your pants, he's probably got no way. Now get searching and don't let tricks like this throw you. For God's sake, you make me sick. Ah! Oh! Stranger, what was he like? 
Did you see him? If I'd seen him, I wouldn't be asking what it was like. Saloon. Brought my saddle along, huh? Yeah. I appreciate that. Ooh, that's hot. Put it over there. Sam! <laughs> hey, Sam! What are you waiting for? Get him! Look at those guys up there. I wonder what they're playing at. Get him, Sam! I wonder who the him is they're planning to kill. Oh, they're all drunk. Yeah, disgraceful, ain't it? At this time of day, too. Well, uh, takes all kinds to make the world go round. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a drink, too. Just I got trouble remembering exactly where the saloon is. I know what you mean. Hold it! <laughs> Fun town you got here. They're firing at us. Darn it, keep still. Uh, uh, mister, they're shooting. Whoa. Yeah, that ought to sober him up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mister, where are you going? I'm going to look for a saloon. Yeah. There he goes. Come on, get mounted up and go after him. What in the name of hell are you waiting for? happened to your coffee, eh? It warms the stomach, that's what matters. Uh, it's much more likely to rot the lining. <laughs> hey, pass me the bottle. I get ready to move out. De Dios. Amigo, what happened to you? I'm so glad you escaped. Gives me the chance to thank you. Hey, compañeros. That is the man who saved the life of Carranza. Hey, tell me, why do you come here? Are you not a padre any longer? 
I came here to kill a man called Carranza. You mean... me? That's the idea, amigo, yeah. <laughs> I understand the reward of my head. <laughs> amigo, here, let me drink. I understand. Nobody could have collected the reward if I had hanged. Well, you don't stand a chance. You know, you're playing with fire, and he's dangerous, amigo. Oh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Look, you would not kill it. an unarmed man. I guess not. My name, Carranza. You'll know it. It's Django. You... You are Django? He's not the reward that brings you here. No, I'm not here for the reward. You were the only one I was absolutely certain about having been a part of that foursome, Carranza. That bunch of killers who a year ago broke into and robbed my house and murdered my wife. Let me explain, Django. Explain away. I'm listening. I was not there. I was not with him that night. I swear in the Madonna. You believe in the Madonna, don't you? I believe you, Carranza. I know you're telling the truth. I know you weren't with him that night. You do? Yeah, I do. My wife was killed late at night on the 18th of March. Now, fortunately for you, I found an article saying you were released from prison in Tulsa on the 20th. So you couldn't have been there. Can I read that, amigo? That's right. What are you here for, then? The names of the others. And whereabouts I can find them. <laughs> it's funny you should ask. I have no idea, amigo. We split up a long time ago. But uh, I'm sure you can remember their names, right? Well, one good turn deserves another one, amigo. They are all in business with a certain Major Gomez. What sort of business? Robbery? Murder? Or selling potatoes. <laughs> no, amigo, no. <laughs> Their business is clean, contraband arms. These Gomez is ready to pay me $4,000 for 100 Winchester repeaters. But what can I do now that this hijo de puta Jeff has confiscated everything I own? I don't want to hear anything about your troubles, just Gomez. You must, amigo. The arms are the one thing that will lead you to Gomez. He is one of the top-ranking officials in Mexico. He and... makes his money by reselling these arms to the governor. No, no. He sells them to the revolutionaries. <laughs> How much would put you back in business? A couple of thousand. That's fair enough. Leave it to me. How will you get it? Collect a reward on you, amigo. <laughs> I got a present for you. Eight, nine, ten. There you are. Don't spend it all at once. What's the point in saving it, Sheriff? I could be dead tomorrow. Ringo, if I have anything to do with it, you'll be dead today. You want to bet on it? Oh, see, I bet my life on it. You've already used those chips, Carranza. Or have you forgotten that you killed two guards when you got out of prison in Tulsa? They'll be collecting at your trial. Adios. Sheriff. Uh, all right, get your hands up or I kill you. You heard me, gringo. Come on now. Up. Huh? I have nothing against you, Sheriff. You're just doing your job. Boy, you can bet it would be a great pleasure to make a large hole in you, Django. 
But the noise would attract attention. No tricks. <laughs> and now, Sheriff, I want you to count to a hundred before you put even your nose outside the door. Count slowly. Mind, Sheriff. That wasn't necessary. Dead or alive, the poster said, right? Hey, rise and shine. What are you doing? We gotta get moving now. All right. Take a punch, huh? Listen, amigo. You hijo de puta. Was it necessary to punch me that hard? Of course. We had to make it look real. Don't ah. forget, we had a big audience. And kicking my ass also, huh? Why, hell, that's what's known as an artistic touch. Sure. This man who has the guns we're buying. Oh, Thompson? Yeah. You know him well? Can he really be trusted? See, si, see, si. I know him well. He is a very rich man now, but it was not always like that. You see, Jenga, one time we rode the trail together. We are still amigos. Vamos. Okay, but first unload those sacks. Alone? All right, you're the muscle. I'm just the brains. Yes, Mr. Django, that may be all right for the others, but I'm an idealist. Our friend Carranza can tell you that. Ah, oh, yes. He's strong. Very well, then. The deal is agreed, right? Selling guns is a business just like any other. But we do it because it's a little more profitable than most. Life is full of good things, but they cost money. Good food, whiskey, women. Oh. Right, Conchita? <laughs> My liver. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like, my friends. We appreciate the offer, Thompson. To relax for a few days is a great temptation. But I think maybe we ought to be going. Suit yourself. Man has to do what he thinks is right. Suppose you got the guns loaded on the wagon. The men are doing it now. Yes. 
Yes, you'll be able to leave shortly. Don't forget, if you can make it back here in about a month, I'll have a fresh load of supplies in. I'm planning to expand my business to include machine guns. But enough of business. I have a story I know will amuse Carranza. A little while ago, I went to a palm reader who declared that a woman would, uh, be the cause of my downfall. Naturally, I laugh because I don't really believe in that sort of nonsense. Do you, Mr. Django? Okay, excuse me, Mr. Thompson. Uh, we got the cases loaded on the wagon and everybody's ready. I wish you the best of luck. And you, mi amigo. Gracias. Cal, you ride with him. A month from now, right, Mr. Django? Adios. Thompson, we don't need enemies, do we, amigo? We better get out of here pretty damn quick. Come on, this way. At least to the yard. Don't, son! Why don't you come down here and fight? No cuts, amigo. Split up, Carranza. Why? Go on. me, a regular guardian angel. Uh, <laughs> Let's go get Thompson. Come on. All right, amigo. Hey, we get back all our money as well, eh? Nah. Forget about the money, Carranza. Once we get Thompson, I want to get those guns. There he is. <laughs> Carranza, that's the worst shooting I've seen in years. Lost your touch? He is yours to kill me, amigo. Thompson, he's one of the three you are looking for.
It's never failed yet. Please, Jordan. I'll make a deal with you. I'll give you back your cash and a hundred extra guns, too. I can make you rich, Django. We'll work as partners, all right? Partners, and I promise you'll be a millionaire. Promise you, Django. Don't waste your breath. Remember her? That was my wife. That's why I'm gonna kill you, Thompson. What about Carranza? Carranza was one of them. Damn it, why'd you do that? Well, I thought he was reaching for his gun, amigo. You were thinking of other things, and I really wanted to kill you. He was mine, Carranza. Well, you had already shot him once. And as friends, should we not share things? Amigo, let us take our wagon and guns and leave here. Hey, Thompson! Thompson! Spread out and see if you can find him. Jeff. That hijo de puta Jeff O'Connor. I ain't seen so many dead men since the war. I don't care about Thompson, but if we don't find those guns, we're up a creek. Hey, Jeff, over here. Ooh. Well, that means no more shipment. Hey, Jeff, here are the guns in the wagon. You all there? About 10 case. That's about it. I'll be right there. This is what we're looking for. Since we ain't paid for them yet, that's what I call real good luck. Hey, you underestimated, Hank. There's 20 cases here at least. Now let's get a couple of horses hitched to the wagon and move on out. You know what, Hank? Those revolutionaries are gonna pay a nice fat bundle of dollars for those guns. We'll be rich. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Move it! Get to the wagon! Yeah! Hey, amigo, I am waiting to hear all the brilliant ideas you are having to get those rifles back. Oh, I hate to think. All the danger and work we go through is for nothing. Have a look in those cases, Ed. Yeah. 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 Well, nothing. Get one of it. We're moving out. Come on, let's get out of here. Nearly ready, Hank. Don't you have any ideas? Carranza, shut up. They're liable to hear you. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, get that wagon rolling. Let's ride. They are leaving. What can we do, Django? Let's have a smoke, amigo. Quite a picture of lonely dejection. I could do with a drink, too. This saloon is deserted, so we can go in. Huh? As long as you're buying. Holy mackerel, it's really you. That's right, Paco. When it's not as Paco. No, darn. Well, if you only knew what's happened, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. My Lola's run away with Jeff. That is none of our business. Jeff is hiding, but where? Well, he's hiding right here in town. At this hour, you'll find him cuddled up in my Lola's arms. Well, 
You will help me to get Lola back again, won't you? Did Jeff and his men ride in with a wagon yesterday? Yes, sir. You know where that wagon is? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, come on, I'll show you. Take some coffee to him. What do you mean? Are you, are you serious? They steal my wife from me, and you suggest I bring him coffee. Try thinking on it. All right, I'll think on it. Let's go see Jeff. <laughs> hey, listen. Paco is supplying the coffee. Billy? Here, give me some of that, Paco. You make a fortune running chuck wagon. Here's a kiss, Paco. There's no sugar in it. Ain't break of sugar standing. Hey, Paco, how's your wife, huh? Not sick you did, I'm trying to be your friend. I'd sooner be friend than your wife. Say that, Jeff. Sure, even if it don't have sugar. Hey, it ain't bad at all. I'll have a little more. Only a little coffee, Hank. It's not like much, sugar. You're sweet enough already. You wouldn't need sugar, partner. Yes, you're right. Hey, you got any more? Oh, boy. Hey, Jeff, you can turn around. What about us? Have a little patience. I'll be there in a minute. Sure, taking your time. Go and have a look around outside. Keep an eye on it.
for you, idiot. Oh, he will be all right. It is just a flesh oh. wound, and he is sleeping now. Hey, tomorrow, I think you will be able to get up and about, senor. I don't doubt it. Our amigo Carranza has a tough skin, by all accounts. Not to mention an excellent nurse. Why don't you go to bed? I'm not tired. I'll stay here. Go on. His wound, senor. It could be. Well, I think it's a more serious wound than it appears. Uh, and, well, I mean, surely it's better that you remain here for a while with us. It's worth thinking about, sure. Gracias. I am disappointed in you, gringo. Oh, yeah? How's that? <laughs> that girl is crazy about you. You will break her heart, you know, amigo. Why don't you go back to sleep? It's too hot. I don't feel like sleep. All right, let's talk a while, Carranza. Oh. 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 I've been thinking this thing with Gomez is kind of personal, so why should you take risks for me? It's better I go alone to find him, right? How about it? What about the, the cash? You're afraid I'm going to walk off with all the profits, huh? See, si. <laughs> no, no, I trust you, amigo. It's just that no one else has as much knowledge about the situation with Gomez as me. I know enough. You do? Mm hmm But I prefer to be with you, or amigo, see? Si. Yeah. Do I? Whatever you want. Sure is a great honor to have you here with us, stranger. Yeah? You sure gave that side whiner just something to think about. And it'll be a while before Lola tries changing bets again. Tell me, stranger, what you doing mixed up with that Carranza? He's a bad one. Yeah, I know. And I tell you, he's in cahoots with Jeff. Now, you're up to something more than just dealing with guns, ain't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it has something to do with Jeff, don't it? Huh? Uh-huh. And you know something I don't know, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Move aside. Don't put even your nose outside.
he's your friend, no? <laughs> sure. Sure, you are right. But I'm only his friend. I'm not in love with him. In love with him? The reason to that. There's no more firing. Maybe they have already killed him. Get your hands up. Walk out here. Turn around. Hold it. Hey, boys, I got him. All right, let's take him to Jeff. Go on, get moving, you. Where do you think you're going? Idiot. Carl, you won't be able to do anything. She's a fiery one, Paco. Let go of me. You don't stay oh. here. Johnny, take a look over there. The wagon's in there, Hank. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Let's keep searching. If the wagon's here, they'll be somewhere close by. trial and condemned to death. But you know, I'm going to give you a reprieve, amigo, because I want you to show us where the wagon is. <laughs> then you're going to tell me where I can find Django. Well, you're in a mess of trouble, Paco. Why didn't you just stick to washing glasses? I ain't done you no harm, ain't that right? You can't blame me if Lola decided to come and live with a real man. But you had to hire a gunfighter to come and kill me, which wasn't very neighborly of you, now was it? You mean I'm condemned to death? Condemned to death? No, friend, not death. You're condemned to defend yourself, that being the best way to restore your honor, and the best way to learn you can't do things like that and get away with them. Here. I've never fired a gun. Well, now's a chance to learn from an expert. I don't want to learn. Hank. Well, I'm going to learn you, whether you want to or not. Ain't nothing to it. Stand aside. It's down there. Now pick up that gun and point it at me. You won't suffer, Paco. I'll shoot to kill. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a chance. I'll holster my gun. And turn to face the other way. Now go for your gun. Come on. Please, Jeff. Pick it up. But I've never fired a gun. Pick up the gun. Oh, no, Jeff, please, no. Last chance, Paco.
Mindy's mouth. He's mouth! Buenos dias, senor. You Major Gomez? Please excuse my feelings of insecurity, but where is the man I know? You mean your friend Carranza? He couldn't make it. He had an unfortunate encounter with a bullet that set him back a couple of days. And being amigos, I brought the shipment. Move you in. The money first, Major. The wagon later. I would just like to check it. I want the money first, Major. Of course, senor. Normally, I do not like to do business this way. But as Carranza's colleague, I will trust you. Wait a minute. What's this piece of paper? I want cash. That is just the same as cash. You have simply to present it to the Comandante at Veracruz, and he will pay. This shipment is for the Army, and payment is their business, senor. All the same, I would have preferred payment in dollars. Those are my orders. Mm. Cigar, Major? No, gracias. I think you knew her, Major, about a year ago. Your mistake. I do not ever remember seeing that girl. And I do not smoke either.
Here. You sure know how to make friends. You just wiped out General Diaz Elite. I reckon you're here for the guns, not to palaver. That's right. I'm here for the guns. There's something else, though. Let's not forget about the cash. You mean the promissory note? Now, what am I going to do with a promissory note? Hank. Yeah, boss? Have a look and see what you can find in Gomez's boots. And let's put this one with his amigo Carranza. How did everything go? Oh, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> Amigo, you better start thinking fast now. Jeff, what are you going to do with us? I'm going to test out one of these Winchesters on you. I got to make sure they work right. Not so close, darn it. And it just happens the guns that Thompson sells are loaded and ready. But listen, Jeff. What's the matter, Carranza? Scared? And you better say a prayer, huh? I have said that, hijo de puta. And we're wasting time. Are you ready to meet your maker now? <laughs> Garanza's amigo. Garanza. His amigo again. Garanza. Garanza's amigo. <laughs> You bastard, Carranza! You fix the gun! No, it's he, not me. All right, what was it you did to them, you bastard? I'm sorry to say you're holding a shipment of completely useless rifles. You see, I'm, uh... The firing pens were taken out, yeah. I took them out. And where are they now? They're not here. All right. Then you're gonna show me where they are, amigo. Hank! Move that wagon out! Right, Jeff. See that cover's tied down. Let's go. Mistaken, this trail we're following would lead us straight as an arrow into Tucson. Yep. Are you out of your head? I happen to know Diaz has most of his troops there. I know. Hey, are you a friend of Diaz? We could be walking into an ambush right now. You are. Right!
right, at least I warned me. Yeah, but I was counting on it being a surprise, Carranza. It was, amigo. It was. Much more of this, and I will drop. Keep running. Or they'll catch us. What about the guns, though? Forget the guns. Move. Keep going. Get those. Untie me. Huh? Use your mouth. Huh? It will not be easy to get that money back, huh? My part in that is over. I got what I wanted. That was Gomez. Now, who was the third? Oh, I'll tell you later, huh? Untie me first. After all, I untied you, amigo. I'll untie you when you've told me his name, not before. Uh, hey, what do you mean? You would not leave me like this, would you, amigo? His huh? name, Carranza. Uh, Jeff. What? Uh, no, Carranza. You just want me to help you get those damn guns back. No, listen, amigo. I've always spoken the truth to you. The first was Thompson, the second was Gomez, and the third is Jeff. Amigo, easy truth. It was Jeff who told me what happened. Untie me, amigo. Huh? <laughs> All right. You get the cash and the rifles. Meet Jeff. Come on. Hey, you're going to run all the way? And abandons. You should see what he's riding in. It's one of them newfangled panting wagons. Ah. A horse is more reliable. I hope you got everything ready the way we planned it. I have. It's gonna make us rich. Come on, let's go meet him. Good to see you, Senor Ibanez. It's a pleasure to see you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Come on, amigo. Let's go and have a drink. You have a nice journey? Si, sí, gracias. Just a little bit dusty. I can believe that. I also imagine you can get mighty stiff after sitting down a few hours in that... What'd you call it? Panton wagon. <laughs> <laughs> its real name is Automobile. You don't say. And believe me, you are more comfortable in these seats than you are in a saddle. Take your word for it. Now, how about that drink? Business first. Oh, whatever you say, you're the customer. Let's go check those guns and we'll have the drink afterwards. Stay here, Jose. You two come with me. These guns are really good, eh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Better hurry. That dummy Bonus has already arrived. Let's go. Senor, I presume you have the money with you. <laughs> Good. I just want to be certain. Some people like to uh, pay with promissory notes. 
This way, senor. We'll be there in a minute. Pins, they are useless, amigo, no? I hid them in the feed trough. You never know, though, Carranza. They could have found them. There they are. There are your rifles, senor. Exactly as you ordered them. The latest model Winchesters. 15-shot repeaters, real beauties. Go on, check them over. Be my guest. If these don't win your revolution for you, I don't know what will. Well, my friend, they certainly look good. Yeah, they ain't none better. Uh, they're already loaded. Oh, my apologies. And the spare shells? Oh, there are those other cases. And yeah, Miguel, take a look. And what about the, uh, cash? Ah, yes, of course. There you are. <laughs> Gracias. We better get started, no? Sure. I do not feel so good now. We all got problems, kid. Eight, nine, ten. It's a real pleasure doing business with you. Anytime you want another shipment of the same, you let me know. That's the one. Spare shells? Yeah, spare shells. Revolutions are always a bad thing. Yeah, it costs money and human lives to fight one. You wouldn't catch me dying for the cause. That depends. <laughs> what would you die for? What would I die for? Like you said, that depends. Yes. Hank? Right, Jeff. Come on. Give me another one. Jeff! They don't work! I'm going up to Jeff. Say it clearly. Now, who's here? Carranza and his amigo. Uh, 
Thanks. Just where do you think you're going? To look for Carranza. Alone? Go bring in all the men. I want them here in no more than two minutes. Blackie. You come with me. All right, you men. Get your guns and get outside. Come on, move it. Wake up. Wait, what up? What the hell is We got this trouble. Thing? So get moving. Come on. Let's go pay a visit to Jeff, amigo. You go meet him. I want to see that my guns are still there. Hey, don't forget, the money is mine too, eh? There's one of them.
I know you have killed Jeff, amigo. So before you finish reloading, you give me all the cash. What's the matter? Come on, Carranza, put up that gun. You forgotten? We made a bargain, and I'll keep it. <laughs> sure, I killed Jeff, but I don't want the money. I imagine you'll find it tucked away in his shirt or his coat. I believe you. I know you keep your bargains, but I don't keep mine. <laughs> Amigo, I apologize, but I must kill you. I don't think I like this game you're playing. It's no game. I tell you, the last piece of the story. But first, let me explain it in the article you are carrying around. There is one error, amigo. What do you mean? He was, in fact, the 10th that I broke out of Tulsa jail, not the 20th. So you were there that night with Gomez and Thompson. Jeff. See, there were four of us, though I was the one who killed your wife. Hold it. It was a pity we had to kill her so quickly. <laughs> what a body she had, that woman of yours, amigo. And what a night we could have had if she'd been sensible. <laughs> Take a look up on that balcony, Carranza. There's a fellow there sighting a Winchester in this direction. It'll be interesting. See who his first choice will be to uh, put a bullet into. Adios, amigo.
Adios, Clico.